private companies have developed a new line of gear. Each piece of gear you will collect in Washington DC is associated with a manufacturer, resulting in brand sets. Each brand set has unique unlockable bonuses suited for various strategies and playstyles. Some increase general attributes such as weapon damage or armor and others improve more specific attributes like high skill power. In this intel brief we'll go in depth on what the brand sets are, how they work and what the bonuses are for each of the 14 confirmed sets. A small thing beforehand, allergy season is upon us, I'm feeling a little shit so forgive me for the droopy voice. Brand sets are a new addition in the gear department. Each piece of gear, regardless of its rarity, has a particular brand. It's associated with a company. A brand set can deliver up to three bonuses, effectively unlocked by equipping one, two or three pieces of that particular brand. It having a minimum of one and a maximum of three set bonuses allows for an increased amount of build variety, since you can select six different bonuses, two, three set bonuses or any combination in between. Brand sets are different from gear sets in multiple ways. Gear sets make a return in Washington DC. For the newcomers, gear sets have, similar to brand set, bonuses that are unlocked by equipping them. However, there are some significant differences. The first being that the gear set's minimum bonus requires two pieces to be worn and has a maximum of six gear piece bonuses. The second is that the bonuses improved your build drastically, meaning not running a six piece gear set usually meant you were at a disadvantage and this limited build variety. We have yet to see how gear sets are implemented in Washington DC, so in this intel brief we're showing the confirmed brand sets and their bonuses. Alps Summit Armament looks to be focused on skills, in particular on the Hive. It increases your cooldown reduction by 10%, increases your skill power by 5% and your Hive skill power by 15%. Aeraldi Holdings is looking like it's geared towards snipers, marksmen and sharpshooters in general as it increases your marksman rifle damage by 5%, your headshot damage by 10% and your accuracy by 10% as well. Badger Tough isn't as easily categorized, although running the chem launcher with this set isn't a bad idea. It increases your damage to elites by 7%, your armor percentage on kill by 15% and your chem launcher skill power by 15% as well. China Light Industries Corporation focuses on close quarters combat and explosives. It adds 10% explosive damage, 10% shotgun damage and 10% cooldown reduction. Douglas and Harding is a set that would run well with pretty much every build, but in particular it looks good for those running either rifles or submachine gun as it increases your accuracy by 5%, critical hit damage by 10% and your critical hit chance by 10% as well. Fenris Group AB is one for the point man among us, using assault rifles and pushing up on the enemies. It adds 10% assault rifle damage, 10% protection from elites, and 20% health on kill. The Gila inventory system is an odd one, as it doesn't have attributes that necessarily focus on weapons or skill, but it adds 5% total armor, 20% hazard protection and 15% pulse skill power. Murakami Industries increases your survivability and is specifically focused on the Firefly skill, which is a small self-propelling item capable of delivering small payloads to targets. It increases your health by 8%, your hazard protection by 10% and your Firefly skill power by 15%. Overlord's Armament is a varied brand set as it adds 10% rifle damage, 7.5% total armor and 7% damage to elites. Petrov Defense Group is for those in love with the light machine guns, turrets and hunkering down in the position and laying down fire as it increases your light machine gun damage by 10%, turret skill power by 15% and your cooldown reduction by 10%. Providence Defense is a perfect balance between the three main attributes. It adds 10% skill power, 8% health and 5% weapon damage. Richter and Kaiser GmbH adds a little German engineering into the mix, mostly focusing on shields, as it increases your hazard protection by 10%, pistol damage by 20%, and your shield skill power by 15%. 
Focal of Concern is all about submachine guns and optimizing their weapon bonus. And also for those running the Seeker Mines, as it adds 10% SMG damage, 8% critical hit damage and 15% Seeker skill power. Wife and Wear being the final one wouldn't be bad with either a rifle or a submachine gun build as it increases your critical hit damage by 7%, drone skill power by 5% and your critical hit chance by 10%. The build variety with 14 brand sets, each with 3 bonuses, is enormous. And that's only the brand sets. Together with other attributes and mods, you, you can create amazing healers, tanks and DPS and everything in between and create a varied squad. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or used the guide, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in Intel Briefs with the summarized information from my videos. To end the video, I have a question for you. Selecting 6 gear pieces using what brand sets would you build your agent? As I always prefer supporting my squad, I will run a medic build including a 3 piece Alps Summit armament as well as a 1 piece Providence defense and 2 piece Wife and Wear to increase your skill power. Specifically focused on the drone and the hive as they both have healing mods. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.